Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we're back here in Alaska yet again. And it happens to be a sunny day, which is one of the best times to fish for the bull trout, which is what we're focusing on today. Now, the primary thing I'm going to be fishing with is going to be the shiners using my Brutus 10 foot by 10 inch rod. A spare double punch 6500 and some pretty heavy line and the main thing that you fish with for these guys can be the shiners but large minnows are really good as well and later on I might try those out a little bit but you can catch them on lures but I just don't catch them as easily as I do bobber fishing but anyway where we're trying to get to is at angling the middle earth we're looking for a specific set of rocks I don't know if you can see straight across there but there's a pair of rocks that are kinda long and oval let me get myself positioned I like to put myself right behind that rock that was at my feet and then there's another rock over here I like to cast it out just past it now my lead set to about 20 inches that seems to work best for me and you kind of want it out there somewhere between about 54 inches I mean 54 feet and 48 feet and what you do is you just kind of let it float and just let it float in between those two long rocks that you can see near the upper right of the screen there and usually if you're going to get a hit, it's usually right in between there. Now, the best times to fish for these guys, of course, is at the peaks between about 5 a.m. and about 7 a.m. on sunny days, 7 and 9 p.m. on sunny days as well. And partly cloudy days are excellent as well, but unfortunately, cloudy days are not as effective. I can catch them but I usually catch just regular size ones. I don't catch the trophies and I really don't catch the uniques. Now I don't know if anybody else has had good luck with that on cloudy days but I just don't seem to catch them that well. Now I think what I'm going to do is, I didn't realize I had a smaller hook on here. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to a 4 aught. I think this is a 2 aught actually because these guys got big mouths. I was fishing for something a little smaller earlier and hadn't switched it back. I think I was fishing for the uh, long nose suckers. Had peas and two odd hooks. Yeah, get it in about 52 is good. You just don't want it to go up against those rocks or to get snagged like I might have done here there just now okay I'm getting a bite now there we go there we go alright we got one I think it's a good size one too oh yeah he's good size alright come in here there you go trophy bull trout 11.936 pounds See good XP. That's a nice fish. Yeah, these guys, if you get these peak times, you can pull them pretty much in one right after another. It's a great way to get XP, it's a great way to get cash. And fill up your keep net or your stringer or whatever it is you're using. But you kind of have to keep letting it go back and forth and back and forth. There we go. We got us another one. Okay, this one's... This one's... This one could be unique, guys. This one might be a unique. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
I've got the drag set kind of low because I've had these guys hit hard and snap it. Oh yeah, there you go. Unique. 20.526 pounds plus 698 XP. There's a nice fish there. Nice fish. Yeah, I'm glad I switched to the four rod. Now these guys are just a lot of fun to catch. I usually catch two or three of them in one fishing plan a day, but let me show you the X, not the XP, but the gold you get for these. See, it's nine gold, and for the trophies, you get about 54 cash. So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all, and the XP is really good. But I will tell you, you will sometimes get the Dolly Varden fishing this way. Now, you'll notice a lot of of this video has been clipped out. But what I'm doing now is I'm coming over here. This is another good place to fish from, right in front of this rock here. And it's the same kind of thing. You kind of got to let it float on down. Let it float until it gets to about in between those two rocks. And then slowly kind of reel it in just kind of tap it here and there just so that you can guide it between the two rocks see see there there's there's a bite already he's still interested what okay that's one of the many glitches i've seen you'll get one biting it and then he'll take off and you'll see him splash somewhere else the reason I do that from time to time, sometimes I'll hit my right mouse button and that'll entice them a little bit. Oh! Sorry. It's all right. Nah, I think we pretty much lost our chance here. I'll live it. I'll leave it here for just a little bit because one time I did get a bite right in here, but I don't think I'm going to get one this time. Like I said, you will get the Dolly Varden from time to time as well. And you'll see that I clipped the, that out because I clipped things out just so... Oh, wait a minute. There's another fish. Check it out. You can see him perfectly fine it's a bull trout too because he's silver if it's red you know you got a Dolly Varden there we go another trophy not the biggest one I've caught but still he's a trophy Let's try this again. And I got another one that's interested. There we go. Alright, okay, this one's big. This one's bigger. Yep, 13 pounds. Much bigger than that last one. He was only 10 pounds. It means more cash. More XP, more cash. Well, uh, that was kind of a crappy cast, but it's, at least it's going between the rocks. Hey, I'm getting a bite right off the bat. Come on. That's another bull trout. There he goes. No, it's not a bull trout at all. It's a Dolly Varden. Dang on it. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. They're good at XP and all, but was it going for him? Sorry about that. I probably should have clipped that one out, but that's all right. As you can see, you will get them. 
You'll get the bull trout of these times more often than the Dolly Vardens. If it's a cloudy day, you get more you'll get more of the Dolly Vardens at the peak time. All right. Now, nah, pretty sure that is a bull trout. Let me. It's kind of hard to see, but I hope it don't get snagged on the rock. Okay, I'm past the rock now. There he goes. Come on in it. Come on. Oh, oh. Come on. I think this might be another unique. Yep. 18 pounds. Not as big as the last unique, but he's a unique, guys. That's two in one day here. Just like I told you. And that was crappy. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. Alright, I think I might try over here a little bit. And I have caught them by letting it, it float in and slowly guided it to the left. Well, yeah, I guess it would be the left side of that long rock. Every now and then I kind of like to switch it up because right before that I did this two or three times and wasn't catching anything. So I kind of mix it up. Sometimes that gets them interested. So uh, There's something going after it. See him right down there to the right? Come on. There we go. Wait a minute, what the heck? Oh, I'll be darned. It's a pink salmon. I don't usually fish for them over here. I'll be darned. Okay. Well, that's that's different. <laughs> Every now and then I'll catch like a pink salmon or a chum salmon over here. And one time even a Chinook. Well, just to give you an idea, it's a different day and it happens to be a cloudy day. Now, it is peak time, but I'll show you what I'm talking about in regards to the bull trout. If I can cast the damn thing. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. What is the deal? <laughs> Good lord. Okay, I'll cast a little further out. Let's try that. I don't know why it does that. I mean, it's like right on the line and everything. Let's see, about 52. Something like that. And let it go between the rocks, just like before. getting a bite. There we go. Come on. Come on little fishy fishy. Now see there there you go. That's a regular size bull trout. Only about seven pounds. Still the XP is pretty good. But yeah, he's nowhere near as big as the, as the ones I caught on that sunny day. And partly cloudy. Perfectly honest. God bless it. This is really getting my nerves. It seems like to me that... Okay. I don't know what the deal is with this thing. It does this every now and then. It's another one of those glitches that just... Drives me crazy. That and when the line disappears altogether. Note to self. Say something to devs about casts. 
All right, I'm getting a bite over here, the far end of the rock. He has been pecking it. There we go. Let's see if he's actually... Yeah, he's just a regular one, too. He's only 7 pounds. Barely 7. Just under 7. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's the bull trout right in here. So, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet.